happy to be here also in DRA. Uh, and I'm going to talk about product, right? To give a product update. And I'll talk about, you know, both generations of EJETs, the current generation and the EJETs E2. Starting with the, you know, current generation, just to show some numbers um, of what we have achieved with the, this family. So it's about 15 million flight hours, 10 million flight cycles, and more than 800 million passengers uh, flew in our, in our aircraft with outstanding reliability. You know, 99.3%, that's comparable really to narrow body aircraft. And if you look at you know, the, the, the rate of delays, that's, that's less than one delay for every 1,000 flights. So it's a really solid and strong family and has taken us to, you know, to great achievements in the company. Um, Charlie <coughs> talked you know, about the sales in, in, in North America and, and one of the results, as he mentioned, was this um, uh, discipline that we have at Embraer to bring product evolution, right? To add value to our products and, and offer those to our customers. So we have, um, it, you know, it's, it's one of our core competences, I would say, to identify customer needs in advance. And this is a strong partnership between Embraer, I mean, in Embraer marketing, Embraer sales, and the customers to look ahead for the needs and then transmit those to inside the company to program management, to engineering, and make those available ahead of our competitors. You know, that, that's how we achieved you know, such a uh, great participation in the market. And more recently, uh, in two, 2014, is, is the year that we started delivering the fuel burn package. Um, we also uh, offered extended maintenance interval for, for our airplanes. And this year, we are bringing new avionics functionalities and also reducing more the maintenance cost and also improving more the reliability with uh, an advanced uh, health monitoring system. And this is now and will continue to do, you know, along until the entry into service of day two. And day two itself is part of a continuous evolution. And, and the success has not been only in North America. I mean, it has been worldwide, right? It's, you know, in, in the case of the 145, uh, our fleet was very concentrated in North America and Europe. The, with the jets we are able to open really new markets and, and go to places like, you know, Latin America, um, China, um, uh, Australia, you know, Africa, Middle East, places that are new markets for us. And, and, and so with, with this family, you're able to pass, you know, 65 customers in, in more than 45 countries. Um, it's, it's, it's been a, a great success. Um, you know, it, we just uh, also passed the market of the, the mark of 1,500 orders, firm orders, and more than 1,100 uh, deliveries. And in total, right? In, in the total, in the global market, from 70 to 130 seats, we have achieved 60% market share, which is almost twice uh, the size of our competitor in this particular segment. And, and that's our commitment. I mean, for now and for the future, is to stay as the leader in this market from 70 to 130 seats. Also in backlog, backlog it's, it's a good measure because it shows not only the current success but what we have already logged for the future. And we have more than 450 orders uh, in backlog, which in current production rate means more than four years. Right? That, that you know, tells, I think, a lot about the continuous um, uh, improvements and the continuous success of the jets, both current generation and second generation. Now talk about E2 specifically. Uh, day two alone, we, we have logged you know, close to 600 commitments. From those, 210 are firm orders. The others are LOIs or uh, options, um, which may actually become firm orders as well in the next 
you know, months or, or even weeks. So they too already started as a, as a, as a successful program in 2013 and has logged, you know, since then 590 uh, commitments. The E2 is composed by three members, right? The E175, uh, E2, which, you know, goes from uh, 76, uh, go up, up to 96. Um, it's slightly larger than the current E175. We have strengthened a little bit to make you know, a more flexible 76, configura 76 seats configuration or uh, an 80 seat configuration if scope clause is, is relaxed in the future. Um, that aircraft will have entry into service, entry into service by 2020. But the first of the E2s to come to the market is actually the 192. The 192, we are not changing the capacity. It's the same size of aircraft. It's our best seller today. And, and the feedback for, from customer was that that was a, you know, a perfect capacity to, to, to be used, you know, combine it with narrow by. So we did not change the capacity of the 190. That one is the first one to, to come to the field in 2018, first semester of 2018. And it will be followed by the E195 E2. E195 is probably the, the one that we changed more. We, we, we added three, uh, the equivalent of three rows to, to the aircraft. So it, you know, in dual class can, can be, you know, 120 seats and single class can go, you know, above 130 seats. And that aircraft will have entry, entry into service by 2019. Okay, so the sequence is um, E192 in 2018, uh, E195, E2 in 2019, and E175 in 2020. And different from other programs, other new generation programs, um, I think Embraer adopted a, 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 a different solution, right? Um, there are companies that adopted a single re-engine solution. So compared to the current generation aircraft, they are only changing the engine, right? That's a solution to probably maximize the return on investment, let's say. There are other companies that went for a completely new design. Uh, that's a solution that will take more advantages of new technology, however, introduces much more risks in the program. And, and our solution was actually to take the, the best of the both worlds. So we took all the new technologies that could be implemented, um, that were available to be implemented in a new aircraft, and we introduced it in the proven platform of the jet. So that's, that's, that's our proposition, right? The best of new technologies in the proven platform. So it, in addition to the engines, of course, right? We are also changing the wings. So the, the E2 it has a, a high aspect ratio wing that contributes to the fuel burn savings also has a fourth generation fly-by-wire, and also some changes in other parts of the aircraft to improve the reliability or to improve the efficiency uh, of the aircraft. With all those improvements, we are able to achieve um, outstanding fuel burn reduction of 16% per seat on the E175 and E190, right? and up to 24% reduction in fuel burn per seat on the E195, which is, I think, it's unmatched by any other program uh, in, in the market nowadays. And it's not only fuel burn, it's also maintenance cost. In the case of maintenance cost, the improvements go from 15% uh, per seat on the E190 up to 25% <coughs> per seat on the E1, E175. <coughs> However, some, some, some things we did not want to change, like the cockpit of the, the aircraft. So we are introducing an upgraded system of uh, Honol uh, Epic. Uh, although, however, right, we wanted to make sure that it was uh, highly common with the current generation aircraft. And that's because the feedback from our customers is that we need to reduce we need to improve the productivity of pilots. So in the case of a transition from EJET's first generation to second generation is less than three days of training 
while anybody that will introduce a completely new aircraft will have to have their pilots trained for more than 20 days, right? And this, if you consider, you know, the scenario we have nowadays, uh, you know, the difficulties of um, uh, pilot shortage, right? Uh, that's a very important uh, feature of the Jet C2. Maximum commonality between first and second generation to make easier the transition uh, for current operators. And the E2 is also about innovation, right? It's also another core value of, the, uh, of our company. And I think the interior uh, represents very well um, uh, what we wanted to achieve uh, with this program. Um, we, you know, the picture we have here is, is about um, one option for the business class. It's called the staggered seats, right? So different from the current generation where we have a three abreast, this one is a four abreast that offers up to 50, uh, 52 inch pitch uh, for business class compared to what is a 36, 38 uh, inch pitch of a normal uh, business class and this in the same space of the aircraft. Um, other innovations, um, we also are uh, introducing uh, more uh, uh, features, uh, provisions for um, options in the aircraft. So all the electrical and structural provisions necessary for all the options of the aircraft will already be uh, in the basic configuration. So uh, especially for less source, right? it will be easier to make the transition from one operator to another. Uh, that's uh, something that we learned a lot with the current EJETS uh, family. Also, robustness, reduction of maintenance cost, and not less important, more storage uh, inside the cabin. That's uh, another great innovation of this, this family. It's the only one that you can store uh, the bags in the wheels first uh, uh, position and have one bag per seat, uh, one bag per passenger uh, compared, you know, this is higher than any other competitor. If you look at the space, you know, if you take one slice, one, one row, right, you have four seats. In the space of those four seats, you can have two bags in one side, two bags in the other side, so four bags for four seats one bag per passenger in our in the E2. And all those innovations um, uh, took us to, you know, to win the uh, most important award in terms of interior, the Crystal Cabin Award uh, in the Hamburg uh, Interior uh, Air Show. Um, this is the team of Embraer and Christman Good that was a <coughs> partnership between the two companies uh, to design the interior and we have won in this uh, important category of industrial design and visionary concepts. That was, I think, a uh, very um, good, let's say, uh, close of the very, a very successful development of the engineer. <coughs> Talking a little bit about the program status, so this year, 2015, is the year where you know, the paper airplane, the PowerPoint airplane, the models airplane will become real, right? So all the, we have released most of the drawings, partners are building uh, <coughs> uh, uh, and shipping the parts to Embraer, and we're starting to build the aircraft. This picture is one of our rigs for certification tests, the one for environmental control system. Um, have also an engineering simulator, so they choose a red flying, virtual, but it's a red flying. And uh, I read some parts. This is uh, the wing skin uh, in our new plant in Portugal, in the city of uh, Évora. This is the wing tooling uh, in Brazil. Some other parts of the wing also being uh, built in Brazil now. The first <coughs> fuselage section this is being built here in the United States, uh, in Texas, by um, our partner Triumph. And with that, 
close my presentation by saying that our program is on track for delivering 2018 E-190, uh, E-2, E-195, E-2, E-219, and E-175, E-2.